Well, hello, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to new Pokemon Snap. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to unlock Ho-Oh and get the four star shots and complete your requests that you get after beating the main storyline in the game. Now, do keep in mind, you need to have completed the main story of the game before you can start doing this, um, but we need to go to the volcano now. Once loaded into the volcano, the first thing we're going to need to do is to actually take a photo of Ho-Oh. There's a couple different spots where you can actually see them flying through the air. And the first spot could potentially be right here. Oh, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. That was lucky. Very nice. So that is the first location that you'll be able to see Ho-Oh. Now, you will need to photograph ho -Oh at least once to unlock the rest of the stages. And there are two other locations where they could spawn, and you might not always get it at the first one. But the first time you do photograph ho -Oh, you will complete the request for a slice of rainbow. So for anybody that has been trying to complete that, that is how you get it done. Now, we should be approaching the second potential spawn let's see if she's here this time see this aerodactyl right here if we look back there right there boom second location for ho ho so let's go ahead and photograph that that one's a little bit well i guess once past these rocks that'll be a little bit better there we go but once you do successfully photograph her you'll be able to continue on to the other spawn locations um but there is one more spot within this area that she may spawn now, there is another little secret that you can get while you're at the beginning of this map to complete one of your requests. And it's going to be for the Lost Sphinx. Uh, or Shinx. I keep calling it Sphinx. I don't know why. But if you follow this one around, you can see it's kind of lost in the sauce. What you need to do is just throw some fluff fruit. You want to throw the fluff fruit in a way that it's not going to stop and eat them. And the goal is to throw these fluff fruit over to this bad boy over here. And this is going to help you complete this request that you need. Let's go ahead and spam shots on that. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. A little bit of a bonus for you. Now, the third spawn location has a pretty tight window on it. And she could spawn at any of these locations throughout the map. But you will have to photograph her at least once to be able to unlock the rest of the spawn options on the map. Uh, so each time you go through here, just keep an eye out on each of the spawn locations we're showing off. Now, as we go down this hill, instead of looking to the left where the aerodactyls are going, we're going to look up to the right here. There's that crystal bloom where that Charmander likes to hang out. And we're going to be uh, peering through this gap here. And hopefully this is where she's going to be. Nothing yet. Hello, Charmander, you wonderful little creature. Ah, there we go. Well, I think that's actually still the second spawn point there. But you can definitely see through this window there. That's going to be one of the spawn locations. So just keep an eye on, out on all three of them. But now that we have photographed Ho-Oh, we can continue through here and get the rest of these requests done. I'm going to switch back to just a one-shot burst because there's a few things that we need to do as we go through here. Now, when you go through this tunnel, you're going to want to perform a scan, and you need to make sure to take this right path. Look at that little Shinx just chilling. All right, so we can speed up. Excuse me. Boop. Me scoozy. Hello. Thank you. Just going to keep sleeping. All right, so we can power through this little spot here. And then on the left is what we want to keep an eye out for. There should be, right in this wall, a feather. So what we need to do is light up that feather with an Illumina Orb. And then what we want to do now is power through here. And there's going to be this Torkoal sleeping down here on the right. You want to hit this Torkoal with an Illumina Orb, which is going to cause it to move... And under that Torkoal is another Feather. So hit that with an Illumina Orb. And then on our left-hand side, we have got 
another feather. So we can hit that one with an Illumina Orb. And this is going to cause Ho-Oh to spawn at the end of the map, which is pretty sweet. Hello, Flareon, you wonderful bean. I love all of the evolutions. I probably need to make a video on the rest of the evolutions that you can find on the map. Uh, if you haven't found Jolteon yet, I do have a video with a tutorial on how to unlock Jolteon and all of these star shots for that. Flareons are adorable, though. All right, so let's power here through the map, and you can see we've got all of this wonderfulness here. Hello, ho -ho. Now, what we need to do here is just continuously spam her with all of these. Oh, there we go. This is going to be our four-star shot right there. You can keep kind of taking photos throughout here. Like that. Boom. Just going to keep hitting with the Lumina Orbs. As she's flying around this area, I'm going to do various different things. Can I hit you with an Illumina Orb, please? There we go. Beautiful. Work it, baby. Work it. So there's one other maneuver that we should be able to get here. You going to do it? It's like this little loop-de-loop. -loop. So let's keep hitting with Illumina Orbs. Come on. You know you want to. Maybe do a scan. There we go. So it's the scan that causes this like barrel roll. That's super cool. All right. So we should now have every single shot that we need. Man, what a beautiful creature, huh? Do we get anything special if we do a scan on the ground? What about some music? You like some sick beats? Would you like to eat a fluff fruit? Come on. You want some more Illumina orbs? Oh, I was like, no, bro. I am super de duper de tired. So here we go. These one star shots while Ho is flying in that like first little area that we go to are going to be the shots that you need to complete the request as well as getting it to spawn in the other locations. Then we got our four star shots when you initially spam Ho uh -oh with the, all those Illumina orbs. I feel bad if I'm mispronouncing this Pokemon's name this whole time. I wouldn't be surprised. There's all of our two star shots. And then three star. Beautiful. Yeah, the nice little spin maneuver there. And the four star shots are obviously these bad boys. That one looks pretty good right there. See how that bad boy scores. All right. mm. Now, if there are any other Pokemon that you want me to do a focused video on, feel free to let me know in the description as well. Wow, 5,740. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, a like would be greatly appreciated. And once again, if you have anything else that you have found that you really liked in the game, feel free to share it with me. Um, especially any super secret interactions that you get with Pokemon throughout the map. I'd love to know what your experiences are, but thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.